If you don't already know, Home Depot is changing the way that they give you your military discount. Normally, you would just show your military ID card and then the Home Depot employee would scan a barcode that would give you the military discount. After January 31st, Home Depot employees will no longer have this barcode to scan. In order to ensure that you continue to get your 10% military discount, you will have to register for a Home Depot account on their website. And then after you get your account set up, then you have to register on the website for your military discount. After that, you have to download the app onto your phone, which will give you the QR code that you need to use when you check out at the register. Hopefully this video will help you get through the process of continuing to get your military discount. Here's where it shows you get 10% off with a $400 maximum annual discount. So basically you have to spend $4,000 to get $400 off. You can go to military discount on their web page. Your ID is what they use to confirm that you are military. And then also here's where they show that spouses can have a separate account. basically the process is going to be the same for a spouse. I can't speak for every store, but I know at least in West Asheville, North Carolina, this new process is up and running. Here are some things that I've seen so far that I really like. You don't have to show your ID at the register or through the self-checkout because you're already registered, enrolled, and verified. Now your military discount does apply to online purchases. I don't know if Home Depot has always had a cap on military discount. According to 
the Home Depot website, the cap is $400 a year, which means you have to spend $4,000 in order to get a max of $400 in discounts. However, if you do have a spouse, you can save an additional $400 since your spouse has to have their own account. Unfortunately, there are going to be some people who haven't been to Home Depot in a while, and they're going to find out about this when they go in to make a purchase and find out that they can't just use their uh, military ID. Unfortunately, if you haven't registered, enrolled, and been verified, and you find out when you get to the store that you need to do this, you may not have the patience to do it in the store or out in your car. And especially if you have to provide a document, it may be very difficult to do while at the store. I don't know if this is a glitch or what, or if it's just something particular at this store, but while in the app getting ready to check out and I have my QR code up on the screen, my phone would flip over to store mode. And if you're in store mode, the QR code doesn't show. So I've had this ha happen a couple times where it just flips over to store mode for some reason. 